Hey guys, I'm Mike. I'm Willie. I'm Tyler. And I'm Kyle. And we are Kyle Bryant and the New Day Drivers. Coming at you on Saturday. Coming at you! <laughs> the 9th. The 9th. Is it the 9th? The 9th. Oh, yeah. Damn. Obviously, we're not doing this on that don't day. Don't our secrets, Kyle. We, we, we don't wear the same clothes <laughs> every day. I do. I he does. Yeah. I do. He does smell funny. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, anyway, if you watched the video yesterday, you know that we are uploading a video a day and posting a song a day from our new EP, which we didn't mention the name yesterday. It's called Stations, which you probably saw in the video anyway, but we could say it. It's the white letters. It's the white letters. <laughs> yeah, just so you know. Uh, but yeah, it comes out on June 12th, which is Tuesday, uh, but we're you know doing a song a day, a video a day up to that to kind of give you guys you know some behind the scenes and other stuff. But uh, day two means track two, which means save yourself. Ah, um, good job. Yeah, which yeah, we, we like this one, it's fun. But uh, I'm probably going to talk plenty at one point about this, but you guys have anything to say, like to introduce the good people to, to save, save yourself? Well, I think this song, um, you're going to hear it was as it opens up, uh, some good drum beats, um, some sweet piano yeah. playing. Um, this song is, is different from the first song in a sense of it's a little, to me, the first song, Dying to Live, is a little more free. Uh, this song is just a good, good solid track. Um, a lot of fun to play for me, difficult to some extent, but uh, changed it up a little bit from how we originated uh, with the song, but, but still a lot of fun. Yeah, it's got definitely a lot more groove. Yeah probably than uh, other stuff we've done, but uh, it's fun, it's cool, it's got a great group. And uh, this one was cool, like we started to write it, um, I actually think it started with a drum beat, uh, a guy named Josh used to play with us before Mike, and I think one day we were practicing and uh, Josh just started kind of playing that groove-ish, the kind of that groove, and I just started playing some piano chords over it, and uh, before we know it we kind of had this, you know, slower kind of jam groove and everything and uh, we really just kind of went with it from there and had some fun with it. We kind of wanted to make it really dynamic as you can kind of hear with the way it kind of cuts in and out sometimes. And, uh, we wanted to you know, play it up and uh, I think it turned out pretty well. When we recorded it was actually kind of funny because it was probably the hardest one to record which is really weird because yeah. we felt really good about it um, going in but it's funny how that works. But uh, yeah, you guys have anything else to say about it? Yeah, I think on the on the, on the speaking about the recording wise, I, th I think we all went into it thinking, okay, this is going to be our strongest song, uh, strongest song on the EP because it was just one with we we played the most um, when we wrote it. You know, like he said, you know, Josh was still in the band, so it's the at least close to a year that we had played it, that we knew it, that we felt it, and we went in the studio, and Matt just said. <laughs> and completely wrecked everything about it. Um, but we changed but it up not, a lot. Not we changed wrecked. it up a lot. We, we um, did. Uh, from when we originally right, yeah. wrote the song. So, yeah. um, just some technical things as far as that goes, which made it a lot different for us uh, in the studio. So, I think that was one reason why it was so hard. Mm -hmm. uh, that was yeah. Record. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like trying to relearn a bike, like relearn how to ride a bike. a bike. You relearn a bike. But it's the, the bike. concept of a bike. What is a bike? It's got two wheels. Yeah. Like relearn how to like, you know, almost like you write with your right hand. It's like trying to say, hey, I'm going to learn to write with my left hand. And like, I do all the time. The concept, yeah, I don't do that. Um, the concept is there, but you know, you're fighting against your natural instincts. It was weird for us to, to change it. But. but lyrically with this one, I won't go into a whole spiel. But uh, basically, the song's kind of weird because yet again, like with Dying to Live, uh, the, the phrase or word save yourself were the first thing that came to mind. Like we were just jamming one day in that chorus and I was like, you can't save yourself. And at first I heard that and I didn't really know what I even wanted that to mean <laughs> at first, which is kind of weird, but you know, I sat down at one point to really like write the lyrics and I knew I wanted that uh, that chorus to be, to kind of hinge on, on that phrase and uh, so I started to write. And as I wrote it, I kind of flushed it out to, to write it to like a, uh, you guys are gonna make fun of me, but like a hypothetical person, uh, like a, not a real person, but to write to someone who uh, who's really struggling with kind of facing their failures in life and um, facing really even their sin. 
and their faults in life, and um, and they're faced with that. And really, when you're faced with those things in life, either you can either embrace them, not like say they're awesome, but you confront them or you run away from them. Well, if you confront them, you you have to change it, or you want to change it somehow. And uh, in that, you have one or two options: you either look inside yourself for some kind of strength and ability to overcome these these failures and things in your life, or you have to look outside yourself. And uh, this song kind of challenges um, the person I'm singing to uh, to to not look inside themselves and try to you know pull themselves up by you know by their own bootstraps or by their own you know two hands, uh, but to realize that um, the sin and the failures in our life. Um, are really only conquerable. I'm not sure if that's a word, but uh, only you know conquerable by something outside yourself, and uh, and you can't save yourself. You cannot save yourself, and so um, the only person that can do that is the power of Jesus Christ to change a life. And uh, you can't save yourself from your own sin and from your own uh, failures. And uh, it's like the bridge says, uh, you have to let the fire of uh, the Holy Spirit. You know, Christ uh, set you free from uh, from what is trapping you, and you can't do it on your own. And uh, and even in the course, it's kind of funny uh, where it says, "The further that you look down inside, the more you see you have to hide." And I, I like that line because um, it's almost like sometimes you want to try to change yourself. You, you see something in your life that's a difficulty, and you want to change it, and you almost try to, to will it yourself and dig down um, deeper to fight it. And the farther you dig down in your heart. Find the strength, the more failures you find, and the more weaknesses you find. So, in the end, you have to live that fire as you free. It has to be something outside of yourself. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the idea behind the song. I know you write lyrics sometimes, there's a lot of weight in the words that people don't necessarily know. Well, now you know. Yeah, this song, man, to me, it, it kind of reaches me a little more personally. Um, like you were saying, it, it's, it's a very personal and intimate song. And I, I think that as you listen to it, and you, you'll really form your own opinion of it, of course, but I think you'll realize that it, it is going to touch your, your heart a little more than, than you know, some other songs may. Because it's, it's a more personal song to me. Yeah. yeah, well this is Save Yourself. We hope you guys enjoy it. Um, it will be on our website, uh, kylebryantmusic.com. Uh, if you go there, we should have two tracks up now. Can listen to those, and uh, you can't download them yet. You gotta wait until the twelfth. But if you like the song, uh, just go to wait. Don't comment to, on Facebook. Yeah, comment on Facebook right. below us. Right, you got the idea. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, we did that yesterday. <laughs> cool. Well, you guys have an awesome Saturday, and uh, we will be seeing you tomorrow on the Lord's Day, Sunday. Peace. Deuces. Deuces.